welcome in latex tutorial and in this video we'll learn about basic math in latex okay here i have a very simple document as you can see document class is article and there are two information title and author and then make title command is used for generating a title page okay so first of all i would like to mention the types of the modes which are generally used in a document so first is the text mode and second is the math mode Math mode can be further divided into two parts. First one is the inline math, and the second one is the uh, display math. Normal text come in the category of text mode, and uh, mathematical elements come in the uh, inline and display math. So first we will discuss about inline math. Okay, in inline math, mathematical elements are written in the same line of the text mode. Okay, so we can write uh, inside uh, dollar symbols, two dollar symbols. Or we can use a math environment, just write begin math and end math. Or we can also use parentheses with backslash. So we can also use this one. Here, first one is the quickest way to write uh, inline math. So most of the time we will use this one. Okay. So we will take one example here. I will use a dollar symbols for inline math. And then just compile your file. So here as you can see that in, in line math we have written the mathematical elements in the same line of the text mode okay in the next we will see display math in display math mathematical elements are written in a new line and at the center of the page okay so first one is the four dollars and we write mathematical elements after two dollars okay we can also use begin display math and we can also use a square bracket with backslash we can use this one also in all three it is always recommended to use last one and first one also you can use but uh, one should always uh, avoid we will take one example now i will copy this and i will paste here and just compile your file okay so as you can see that uh, mathematical elements are coming in the center of the page and in a new line okay next i will talk about some symbols so some symbols we can use directly from the keyboard for example plus minus equal sign vertical bar exclamation mark forward slash parenthesis square bracket angle bracket quotation mark colon and semicolon we can also use period okay there are numerous symbols which we cannot use from the keyboard directly so for that we'll have to use some commands okay we can uh, directly get uh, all the symbols from the site panel if you are using tech studio or tech maker from here okay you can press at this place or you can go to view and go to show and then go to side panel or just directly click at this place so from here you can get any symbol greek symbol arrows binary operations or any other okay as you can see here so first you need to put your cursor at the place where you want to print your uh, symbol and then go to that symbol and click there for example i want to print this symbol so just click at this place this is mathematical symbol so you need to put dollar two dollars okay and you can compile this so in this way you can get any symbol from here if you see okay all right now we'll see some examples first one is the superscript i want to write ax square so uh, ax and then use a circumflex or caret symbol and then put your uh, exponent just compile your file all right similarly i want to use ax power 23 and then compile this file so as you can see that it is not coming properly so if you are using more than one character then uh, you should write inside curly bracket okay Now it is coming properly okay we can use fraction just compile this okay rather than this you can use fraction command so i will show you here you can use fraction in first curly bracket just write numerator and in a second curly bracket write your uh, denominator and compile this file okay here you don't need to remember this command you can get from here okay this is in line this is display superscript subscript fraction so this one i have used so you can use directly from here just click there and you will get 
okay diffraction is used for display map it's not working for this we have to use ms math package so just go to primal and load ms math package okay to avoid any types of mathematical error one should always use this package before starting the document okay now compile this file now it is running all right in the next part we will see subscript i'll use this one same thing for subscript just use underscore okay and compile your file all right for example i want to write here 2n plus 1 this one i want to put in subscript so i'll compile this file as you can see that it is not coming so only it is capturing first character so you need to put inside the curly bracket okay and then compile your file all right third one is trigonometric for inline math all mathematical elements should be written inside dollars inside two dollars remember this okay so for trigonometry you can get from here as you can see that sin sin hyperbolic tan tan hyperbolic here cot cos cos hyperbolic you can get from here okay if for example i want to write sin x so we cannot write here sin x directly this one will produce error we can leave one space and then we can write x okay and compile this file all right or we can also write here rather than this we can put x in a curly bracket it will produce the same this one is better okay next one is that exponential for this just go to math and then math math function this one you can use here i want to write e to the power x square and compile this file so it will produce error so you need to put this one inside curly bracket and then compile this file now it is coming correctly okay fifth one is fraction if you are writing in line math then it is always recommended to use a forward slash okay for example i want to write uh, x y 2 so for this i need to use forward slash here we can also create better looking fraction for this uh, just write here caret and write your symbol x and then use forward slash underscore and write your denominator compile this file so this one is looking much better okay if you want to use such type of fraction for whole document then you can use a nice frac uh, uh, package okay here you can use nice frac it provides a nice frac command so rather than this we can use nice frac compile this file all right just use fraction write numerator and then in a second curly bracket use denominator we can also use fraction inside fraction for example i want to use one more fraction inside this bracket i want to use 5 plus 1 by 2 so again i'll write right fraction 1 and in a second curly bracket i'll write 2 next one is the root for root we can use sqrt command this one okay and inside this write your content we can also use nth root so for this just in a square bracket before curly bracket right end all right next one is that calculus
actually here d is not variable so remember this you need to put in a text mode so for this you can use mathrm command we can also use partial okay for integration we can write int command no need to remember anything you can get it from here from the side panel and compile this file okay we can write here y dx all right but this is not the correct way here two important things which you need to remember first you need to put a small gap and also you need to put this one in a text mode not math mode okay this is not a variable remember this there are several ways to produce a space in a math mode okay i would like to mention here you can write quad you can use a backslash with the colon backslash uh, vertical bar backslash with exclamation mark this one is equivalent to the font size if you are taking font size 12 point here so one quad is equivalent to 12 point in horizontal space okay so this is equivalent to default font size so this one is equivalent to 4 by 18 of quad and this one is 5 by 18 and last one gives the space minus 3 by 18 uh, of one quad okay in an integration symbol most of the time this one is used so remember this I'll use this one at this place and for this you can use mathrm and then you can compile your file so this is the correct way to write uh, integration okay if you have to use uh, this one many times in your document then you can use one uh, new command just write new command use mathrm after that just write has one for giving one input and at this place just write one now here i will write uh, dn and in curly bracket just write x at this place also we can write now compile your file here we can also use limit so i will copy this paste here so for using limit just use underscore and caret symbol compile your file I want to use only one integral we can also use limit just below and above of the integral symbol okay so for this just use limits command after int command just use limits and compile your file all right now i will stop this tutorial at this point and in the next tutorial which will be the uh, advanced tutorial okay so in that tutorial we will learn about uh, delimiters equations uh, align and array okay so till then bye bye thanks for watching